dinosaurs in the Battle of Gettysburg. We're in South Confederate Avenue at the Gettysburg National Military Park. And you might be surprised to know that there are dinosaur footprints on a bridge on the avenue here. The footprints were placed here in 1937. What had happened is the War Department had placed a road through this area in 1895 um, along what we call South Confederate Avenue. But they had placed the avenue at such a time when there were no uh, automobiles to speak of. There was a nasty hairpin turn on this avenue just up at the slopes of Big Round Top. And by the 1930s, they realized that the avenue was not suitable for the modern automobiles that were traveling on it. So they actually ripped out the avenue and replaced it with this modern South Confederate Avenue that has a much, much more gradual uh, turn up the slopes of Big Round Top. And while they were doing that, they decided to replace the original bridge at this site with a more modern bridge. They actually uh, car went to Quarry Stone for the bridge in York Springs at a place called Trossel's Quarry along Bermudian Creek. And in 1937, when they were quarrying from the bridge, they found some unusual markings in a rock. Altogether, they found something like 40 footprints from three different prehistoric animals. And two slabs on this bridge contain these footprints from Trossel's Quarry. Let's walk over here. Now, one thing we should state right away is that we do not know the animal specifically that is responsible for these footprints. But it is obviously from a three-toed dinosaur. Uh, the stone is dated uh, to have come from a deposit that's somewhere around 215 to 220 million years ago. Uh, this footprint, there's some debate about exactly what dinosaur it is from, but it's a small dinosaur. Um, if you're fam familiar with uh, the types of dinosaurs, a, a ceropodomorph. It's uh, similar to a, uh, a type of Platyosaurus that is uh, much smaller than the one that uh, you might see in your um, textbooks. But uh, definitely, uh, it left these footprints behind. We have an extraordinary example of these footprints that we're going to have on display in our new Adams County Historical Society Museum, which will be open early next year.